Hello my dear friends and today we continue to learn the Python in Dynama so actually we are using the Dynama like a just source where we can use the Python simple Python code and we continue to learn today's topic the string uh, uh, the list so uh, we're gonna talk about the strings again but now we're gonna talk about a bit more complicated things I hope this lesson will be interesting so stay tuned and let's start it as always, for this tutorial, you need only the Dynama and the uh, Python code. So just use the Python script here and go inside to the Python script. Before we will code, uh, we will start the coding. Delete everything. We don't need that. So and leave it only output and from after desk geometry import. Actually, this is also not matter, but uh, better if it will be here. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, as I said, we will gonna talk today about the list. Let's create the list, because we don't have any list right now. Uh, we will create uh, the two different lists. So, let's create uh, in Python all the uh, functions starting from the uh, low, uh, low letter, I mean the low case, and we will write number, number list one. And actually, we will have the two number list. Let me illustrate uh, straight away. Write the second number of the list. Number list two. Let me. I will say the equal here and equal here. And before we will continue here, we will say it will be equal a i n. So zero. It means we will get the data for this list from the input. Yeah. Uh, we starting to use the Dynama in our Python code. So here we will create the uh, our list. Thirty two. Any 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 what you want. Twenty one, forty eight, twenty two point five. I don't know. So and here is our list. Uh, let me. I will check it. So I will change the output and I'll say the save changes. Let me see. And as you can see, here is the list. Uh, if we will say we want to get also the number two list, so you will get nothing, null, it's nothing. So for that one, we should create our list. Let me, I will create it. We have a lot of ways how to do that, but I will just create the code block. So let's say this is our uh, input data. So how we can do that? Just let's say from the one to the 10, each second one. So, and as you can see, we get each second number. And let me, I will connect to the input. And as you can see, it's working. So, congratulations. This is first Python, uh, fi final Python code, which taking the data from the Dynama, such as Revit, and working with that in the Python script. And as you can see, we get it here. So, perfect. We get this data. So as you can see, it's working, but let's now work with this data. So we don't need just translate it. I mean, we don't need just show it. We need to work with this data. And first, what we're going to start, we will going to start with the um, deleting data. Yeah, for example, you don't need all the uh, numbers. You need only the sum numbers and you want to delete it. How you can do that? Let's say, for example, we no, no want to get data from the second one. We want to delete it. We don't know the reason why. We just want to delete it. How we can do that? Let me I will open the Python script and I will copy the number list of two. Okay, we get the data as you can see. So, so I will show you. We taking data from here, transferring in this Python code. As you can see, it coming to the uh, number list of the two. And after that, it translating here. So such as you can see it right here. We will write here the new code, which is will uh, delete our code and as you understand we will get here the nothing how we can do that let's do like this we'll write the number list of two e not equal dot and pop so we just want to pop it and that's it if I will say save the changes as you can see empty list 
So now inside this list, nothing. This is empty. Um, you have a lot of reasons why you can do that. For example, you want to delete all, of the, all the list or if you don't want to select some data, you want to just make it, it empty. Um, it's just uh, limitless by your imagination where you can use it. So we will talk about where you can use it, some of the codes, uh, some of the function in the later on. Right now we're just uh, trying to understand how it's working. And as you can see, you will say why it's deleting because here is the number list two and here is also the number list two. In Python, if you will do the last function with some, uh, for example, data, that will be uh, like that will be final result. Okay, we here get the data. Okay, here we have the data, but here we already pop this data. So as you can see, we get data, uh, we deleted data. Okay, uh, we understand how they're working the pop, but what if we no want to delete everything? What if we want to delete only something? How we can do that? Now let's play with the number of list one. I not will delete this uh, code. I will just write list number one. And I will say it will be equal. Oh, let me let me be changed because it will be uh, better if we will do that thing. We say deleted, deleted number list one. So we clearly understand. So in this function we will delete uh, number list one. And let's say dot pop. And inside we will say minus two, minus two. Let's I'll copy the, this one. We will delete right now number list two because I wanna compare between uh, number list one and delete number list one. Let's save it. And as you can see, why it's only 48 as you can see. Let me, I will show you. As you can see, here is the data. Minus two, it's exactly 48. And as you can see, we deleted everything except this one. If we will say here the nothing, as, as you understand, here will be uh, here will be empty list. So if we uh, will say here is the minus one, for example, let's run it. You will see here 34.1 uh, and such as this data, 34.1. So it's working by this way. But let's play with, uh, now we already played with the uh, deleted number list one, so we understand how it's working. I will delete it from the output, I don't wanna see it. So uh, now we will play, uh, let me, I will comment this function because we not will delete this comment, it's just not will be work. When you comment it by hashtag, so uh, it means this is a, a function not will be working. So the Python script not will work with this thing, as you can see it here. Uh, hashtag and after that you just writing something. Uh, it's helping you to comment what this uh, what this uh, function doing. For example, I will write here hashtag and I'll say it uh, here. We will delete all numbers except uh, index minus one so and we clearly understand for example after a while when we will open this code we understand aha uh -huh, this is function deleting all except um, index minus one index minus one is here okay this is just a comment uh, and as you understand uh, if you will write something after this hashtag the, this function not will be working be careful let me I will play again with the uh, list uh, number list number two and we will create now the new one. Delete it. Delete it. Underscore number list two. After that, equal. And we will write here the number list two. Dot remove. As you understand, remove it's working like a remove. And let's say we will uh, will remove, for example, twenty one. And here. As the answer, I want to get delete number list two, and I want to get also the existing existing list two. Let me I'll do like that, run it, we get some problem. Let's see what's this problem. Oh, I did mistake. As you can see, I said uh, let's remove 21, but 21 it's under the number list one. Let me I'll change it. As you can see, number list number two, we will change it to the one. Uh, this one we will comment too. Yeah, now it can be worked and let's change the name delete to the remove. Now you understand what's that delete. 
and here will be remove. I will delete all these things. And as you can see, remove, we will change this one to the remove. And here we will change the one to do the one. The reason why, because the 21 number is exactly inside the list of the one. And let's run it. And as you can see inside, we now don't have the number 21. We can say, for example, we want to delete 32. Let's change it to the 32. Let's run it. And as you can see, we don't have the number 32 right now. As you understand, uh, we deleting number not by index, we deleting number by uh, by what is that, for example, one, two, three, and etc. And you deleting exactly what you want. For example, here will be uh, not number, here will be the string hello. Why not? Let's run it. And as you can see inside our list now, hello. And for example, we want to delete the, this hello, we don't no need it. Let's write it, but be careful with the uh, low case and the high, uh, the high case capital, because uh, if you will write this one, it will be different words for the uh, Python. Be careful with that, it's really important. Let's run it, and as you can see, we don't have now any more hello. We're removing exactly the word hello. Uh, let me, I will show you example. If you will uh, write the hello like this, run it, you not will delete anything, you will get the problem because uh, if uh, Python uh, cannot delete anything by removing, you will get the error. So this is minus of that. You should exactly have the number or the word exactly what you're deleting for. Now I think we will do much interesting things. So I will comment this too. So uh, if we are not working with uh, function right now, I will be commented. Uh, by this way, you will be understand what exactly right I am doing. So as you understand, now I will be use only this function. This one I not will use. So by by this way, I think it's much easiest to understand what's going on on the screen. So I will delete all this output. And what we're gonna do right now? Let's see. Inside we have mm, we have the numbers. Let me I will delete this word. We have the numbers, but as you can see, even let me I will write the one more number like six 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 and. Uh, 1000 even and uh, minus 5 okay this much better how to sort it yeah this is really important for us because uh, as you understand uh, we always sorting our data it's easy to measure um, management it so let me I will write the number list one and after that you will just use the sort that's it you will just use the sort and what we you gonna do after that you just will translate your data output final and as you can see minus 5 1000 here so it's pretty easy to uh, control your data it, let me I will uh, do the same thing with the number 2 but it's already sorted so for that one we will use some node let me randomize random uh, we have the randomize mm -hmm. here is the random random list Oh my god, let me... Oh, shuffle. Yeah, it's better. Why is that? Shuffle. Okay, let me will connect shuffle here. And as you can see, now it's 1, 5. It's not so shuffled as I, as I want. 1, 3, 5, 7, and I know. Let me will do like this. Okay. Shuffle list. 1, 2, 3, 4. Why it's not shuffled? Let me, mm, yeah, the reason is because we have list inside the list. So actually we can change it, how we can do that, right click and let's flatten, flatten, here is the flatten and let's connect now uh, our code block to the flatten and flatten to the shuffle. As you can see, all the data was shuffled uh, and we will connect this list inside to the Python code. And what we're gonna do right now, as you understand, we will copy the number list of two and we will sort it to sort. And let's write it here, number list of two. Run it, and as you can see, it's now sorted. Here is what we get, here is how we sort. This is much better. Now it's time to improve our skills. As you can see here, we get one type of the data and let's create other type. We will get the input number two. 
here is the one but it's as you remember this is number two let me we'll get, create the code block and let's create the number of the list and here inside we will write some some let me will write first like this each much faster will be okay and here inside will be like a d maybe z maybe y and w and as you can see we get the list with all these letters let me will connect these letters to the input number one and here will be new one let's say this will be letter letters and uh, let's say one all input just to understand where it's come from and it will be input number one let's save it as you can see nothing is wrong but we don't have any uh, any output let me will copy this name and i will do the same thing input dot sort and now i want to get this output let's save it and what we get a d v w z as you can see uh, by this function of the sort you can uh, easily work with this function uh, it's pretty easy and it's workable so but it's not finished for today one more thing we will do right now what if you want to change for example uh, the you want to get reverse the data let's say the red letters you want to reverse it not but not right starting from the a you want to starting from the z what you're gonna do right now so for that thing we have other uh, thing like uh, letters input after that uh, dot and reverse it's already here let's reverse it run it and as you can see z w v d a and you will say uh, but why we didn't get our previous uh, result as i said the last function last result so if i will delete or, or i will comment this function as you can see i will just comment it we will get the last result so here is the our last function and here the last result if i will uncomment it here will be last function and here will be last result and as you can see it's different that's it for today i think this is pretty a lot of the information for this lesson play around with the data just try to sort it and after that remove some data after that maybe delete some some data uh use the inputs uh, this is will be better for you and be careful with the uh, flattern uh, let's i will show you one more time here we get the data as you can see but we, as you can see we get a list inside the list this is uh, really important but here we get the list in and nothing else so just inside the list we have only one how you can better understand how many lists we have just look at here list 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 and here only two lists so it means only one and here we have only one so as you can see this is better for us uh, use only the one list because we are not ready to use the list inside the list anyway play with the data play with the input and get some nice result for uh, of this tutorial and leave the comment don't forget about it thank you guys for watching and see you on the next tutorial